Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is my jungle and today I'm gonna get a little bit scientific with you. So I felt like maybe we need to put on our glasses. Oh, it's a really bad glare, but I mean they're cute, right? Anyway, um, maybe we won't wear the glasses. It's okay. We'll probably wear them for the thumbnail. No, I'm not going to lie. That's not the thumbnail. Anyway, hi. I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I'm sorry if I'm sniffly because my allergies are just really bad right now. I'm not sick, I promise. So today, we're going to get a little bit scientific about something I've wanted to talk about with you guys for the longest time because I find it so fascinating and it is one of my favorite types of variegation and you would have guessed already, it's probably why I clicked on this video. Today we're going to be talking about silver variegation, also known as reflective variegation, blistered variegation. Um, I think there's there might be another name for it. I don't know. Anyway, I mostly refer to it as reflective variegation, but there are other ways to describe it. So basically, I just wanted to explain to you what it is, how it occurs, because I don't know about you guys, but I love the scientific side of plants. I'm kind of just a science nerd in general. So anything that I'm interested in, if there is a science to it, I'm like, yes, tell me more. So that is something I really enjoy about plants is that there is lots of science to explore. So silver variegation, right? One of my favorite types of variegation. If you guys have been following me, you know that I love silver plants. Love, love, love silver variegation. So obviously when I first learned a while ago, well over a year ago now, the different types of variegation, that was one that stood out to me because I find it really fascinating. A lot of the other types of variegation have a lot to do with the genes of the plant and then how much light you're giving it and things like that, but this variegation is unique. And it's unique because what happens is, let me actually show you a plant. So this is my Synapsis Silvery Ann. I thought that she would be a good example because she has leaves that are super silvery and then ones that are, you know, just kind of like slashy silvery, but I love her leaves that come in like this. Absolutely stunning. Love Synapsis because they can get silvery. I have my Exotica and stuff over here to show you guys too, but the thing that happens is basically... The leaf itself has layers of tissue, kind of the same way that we have layers of our skin. And the pigmentation is on the lower level of the leaf. So like the green color that you're seeing is the lower layers of the leaf, if that makes sense. And the upper layers don't have any pigment. So what happens is you get little air pockets, or they call them blisters. That's where you get the blistered variegation from. And the light is reflecting off of those air pockets, making it appear silver. So, I mean, what? Is that not, like, kind of the coolest thing you've ever heard of? Because, I don't know about you guys, but then I start thinking about well, then, like, what are even colors? The way that we are perceiving this is silver when it's just an air pocket that the light is reflecting off of. So I find it really, really fascinating. So, again, literally, reflective variegation is air pockets. Little air pockets in between the teeny little thin layers of leaf. They create a little bubble, a little blister, and the light reflects off of that little blister that space in the leaf tissue and it appears silver to the human eye which is just really really cool and I'm obsessed with it so this can happen with lots of different plants Syndapsis is a great example obviously I also have the Syndapsis exotica she's growing a little crazy because this side gets light and then this side gets light it's weird so she faces like this way even though she trails this way so um yeah all of those beautiful pockets of silver so and then you're also going to have plants where it's not as random as syndapsis so a good example of that i think is my calathea orbifolia which appears to have silver stripes that is what i like about this plant i love the shape of the leaves 
and the striping. You guys know, you guys would have seen me repot this. Oh no, you haven't seen it yet. Maybe you have. I don't know. I don't know what order these are going to go out in, but I did repot this with you guys on camera, so I will link it if I have um, posted it yet. And yeah, you've seen it a lot, so you know I love this plant. And these silvery stripes, like these are all just air pockets. So they form in like a pattern. And I guess that has to do with the genetics of the plant. It's just really cool that that's even a thing that can happen, right? Tell me I'm not alone in this. Is that not really cool? That those are just air pockets? So another plant where you will see reflective variegation that maybe you're not equating with like silver because it's not variegation is in the veining of some plants like the very sad looking <laughs> alocasia frydeck. So I don't know if you could tell the veins kind of like glow. That's something that I love about the frydeck is how vibrant the contrast is and the reason why that is, I actually recently learned, is that it is blistered variegation that causes the veining on plants like this to look silvery. So that is also the case for the Gloriosum. That's why, and if you've ever seen one, their veins kind of look like they glow. I have one in the greenhouse, but we've got thrips going on in there, so we're going to leave it in there. And... Um, there were a few others. Oh, Anthurium. The Anthurium clarinervium, the veining on those appears to be very silvery and like almost sparkly. And, and I'm realizing that all these plants that I'm attracted to, a lot of them have reflective <laughs> irrigation. So I think it's really fun. I think it's really beautiful. And I am curious what you guys think. Do you like silver variegation? Is it something that you're into? I have lots of begonias as well you can see back here that have like silver variegation as well so this is a type of variegation that happens in a lot of plants and um this one's probably my favorite this one's not it's not doing anything it's just really cute my little tray leaf thing i'll have those linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out so yeah that is reflective variegation i wanted to keep it short and sweet and hopefully you learned something today because I love silver variegation let me know in the comments below like I said if you love silver variegation what is your favorite silvery plant in your collection what silvery plants are you on the hunt for I am always 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 looking for a silver leaf always attracted to a silver leaf that's why I just bought this recently actually so another synapsis splash with, um, I don't know, some silver hero going on or some silver cloud. I don't know. These are natural mutations. Syndapsis are weird. They're beautiful. They do stuff like this. And um, I just bought this one recently. And I'm curious to see what the new growth comes out like. That one's finally putting out a new leaf right there. So we're going to see if it comes out silver or if it comes out splashy. So... Let me know in the comments below if you think it's going to come out silver or come out splashy because I bought that kind of just to, as an experiment. I have two massive synapsis splash hanging baskets at the new place. They're just not here. So I'm showing you this one. But this is literally one of my favorite plants, like period. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up button is really fun now because like when you click it, you get fireworks, so I definitely encourage you to click it, get some fireworks going on, <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there, and if you want to be part of the official plant fam, I will love you forever. <laughs> no, seriously, I love my plant fam members. I love all of you, but plant fam members, no you know the love runs deep so yeah come and join our little family we love getting new people into the plant fam and into the group chat we're doing lots of fun stuff this year hopefully so come on over we don't bite i swear so yeah that is it go follow the david and jack's channel 
new content at least weekly. We're trying to be really consistent with it, but it's hard with the move. So check that out. I'm going to stop talking. I hope that you guys enjoy your day and I appreciate you and I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.